Hello! So, this was originally supposed to be something else entirely, but it turned out to be a longer video, so here we are. Today, I want to talk about some technical parts of bookmaking. As we all know, the book consists of pages and spreads. Each spread usually has four pages. When you fold a spread into two, you get two outer pages that are called Bianca and two inner pages that are called Volta. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. However, how you arrange pages on the spread and then how you arrange the spreads has to do with how you bind the book. And that has to do with what kind of material you'll be using, how many pages you'll have and how big the book is going to be. There are probably more factors but these three were the main ones for me. Well, that covers the basics of basics of bookmaking, and I'll show you everything now on my mock-up. I just have to add, since I'm using embroidery and painting, I can't really use both sides of one spread, since, you know, paint bleeds through and embroidery is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm treating the Bianca and the Volta like two different parts two pieces of canvas and then I'm going to sew them together to form one spread. I apologize for the quality of the audio in this clip because I filmed it with my camera and not over the microphone. Okay, so we have our mock-up papers here. I already folded them in half. So, when you fold them in half, these, this outer part, this is the Bianca, and this inner part, that's the Volta. And now, since I'm, I'm going to bind my book that way, I'll put three spreads into one, like so. And I have a three spread bundle now. And they're, they're going to be bind together like this. And I'm going to make four more of these. So this is two, three, four, and the fifth one is just one spread because of the number of pages. So now they're going to be bound together like this. And this is our little mock-up book. And now we're just going to write the pages in order. Okay, now you turn it the other way. Okay. okay. So now I'm just gonna add some extra markings to make my, so I don't get them confused. I'll call this bundle A. So this will be A1, this will be A2, this will be A3. I'll call this bundle B, so this is B1, B2. Okay, now you have your little mock-up, see, and when you open, you get the right arrangement of pages. So this is how you have to print, or in my case paint and embroider your pages together on one spread. So when you bind it together, they'll go into order, like this. And that's it. That's my little spiegel. 
Now that we've covered all that, I want to talk about what I'm doing here. These are pages 14 and 15, both finished. And what you see here is me working on page 15. Pages 14 and 15 together form a big image, a centerfold, but they belong to two different spreads. This is them on their spreads. For the image to align properly when I bind the book, I put the page 14 next to page 15 so I can in a way continue the overlapping part. Since this is a canvas and I stretch every spread over a wooden frame like you would a painting, while I'm working on it, I can do it this way as an extra precaution. If I was printing the book, it would be a whole different story. And that's gonna be all for today's journal entry. Thank you for watching.